Hi right, everyone, welcome back, Hold the Thing of Blade Reviews. Today we have another Bilar Arms. This is a 15th century longsword. And this one has been sharpened. It's got a leather chap connected uh, right underneath the guard, right where the forefinger lays. This is a basically a rain lid. It's pretty common for uh, longsworns around the 15th century to have that. Slides very nicely into the scabbard. We'll take a look at some specs on this one. Up close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard and then we'll do some cut testing. Let's Overall get to it. This blade is 45 and 5 sixteenths. The blade length itself is 35 and 1 half inches. These come uh, from the factory from Bilar Arms to us unsharpened, but this one has been added with a double edge to it as it primarily would have been used anyway. Um, really, really awesome grip as well. Obviously a two-handed grip. So we have a wood cord leather wrapped handle. We have a big notch on the middle you can see how it kind of pops up a little bit really really like that on the grip i already did the cutting with this one and even from the uppercuts it's nice to have that traction on the pinky on the right hand and if you kind of fold your hand over the pommel this is how you prefer to kind of hold it where you're kind of choking down the pommel it actually can uh, be really nice to have on the left forefinger as well so left forefinger and right pinky if you're playing with it in this two-handed grip I also liked it a lot in the single-handed grip. I know it's more for aesthetic, well really more for function of keeping rain out of the scabbard, but I did actually really like when doing the cutting, I liked having that leather chap right there. So it just notches into your thumb. By no means does it, you know, create like ridiculous friction or anything like that. It just allowed the grip to stay really secure in the hand. Steel quality for this Bilar Arms long sword is gonna be 5160 high carbon steel. This is a 3.5 pound blade. So overall with it, the pommel is peened. It's a very smooth peen mark, but you can see it. Uh, circular pommel as well, disc pommel. And cutting with this one, just kind of a preface on this. Um, I'm not really worried about it, but some people when I do cut testing don't really like the way I cut with long swords. Long swords for me, from what I train personally, is really more of short spear, and I'm basing that on the length. So you'll see that I'm six feet tall, it's right about a fist distance underneath my plexus, but kind of just referencing that because if you see the way I'm cutting with these, it's just the way off of how I know how to do with it. You might have a different technique, and if this is your blade and you're purchasing it, you can really do whatever you want with it. So 5160 high carbon steel, 3.5 pounds, got a really good balance to it. I already mentioned the handle, leather grip. It's got this traction that you'll see so uh, horizontal lines across the traction so adding a solid amount of grip to this one I really like the pommel a lot because I like being able when I am cutting with long swords I like being able to choke down on that if you want to go more of a full grip like that that's cool I like to kind of roll the hands over the grip that way when you're slashing with it you can kind of use that pommel um, kind of like you were just kind of revving a motorcycle in a way so you're kind of pulling that up through the cuts or these large downward cuts as well I thrusted it as well, the tatami mats with it, just because in case you wanted to see it, blade is solid flexibility. I mean, it's got good flexibility to it, so you don't really have to worry about it snapping um, as long as you're cutting tatami and you're not trying to chop down a tree with it. So it comes with a scabbard. This is a wood cord, thin leather wrap scabbard with a steel tip. Uh, I say thin because it's just um, thinner than some of the other scabbards we've done in the past for long swords. Um, I'm not worried about it, how some windless scabbards are, just the pure leather with the steel tip. Um, I would not speed draw those or even draw them out with the intent of going into a cut um, for the sake of safety. But uh, that's not the case with this one. So this one's a wood cord leather wrap scabbard. We've got a shiny steel tip on the end, a little button on the end. The notches as well, you're going to see this a lot with different Bilar swords. These are intended. I'm just calling them notches or just kind of functionally they're there so that if you're wearing this on a sword belt with a sword frog underneath the hip you have the ability to just keep that from sliding up and down the scabbard i know um valiant armory does a really good job on their sword frogs as well so um they they don't really do notches but they just make sure it's balanced very well and the notches are adjustable so if you need a sword frog if you need sword accessories we have a leather goods section a huge leather goods section to um, really take care of any sword needs you have if you're looking to wear this for reenactments if you're looking to wear this for Some type of like dress up as well if you're going to a Ren fair 
um, we have you covered on that. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the blade in the scabbard, not the scabbard. We'll do some up close looks of the blade. This is more of like, it's almost a green, almost a green on the actual handle and the scabbard as well. It's like a very, very, very dark green, almost black. So I'm gonna throw this in the sunlight so you can take a look at it and see it for yourself. Let's go ahead and get to that. As much sun as we can get on it. So we'll see the leather, the leather chap. It's got a really cool design on it. Folds over. It's actually in between the guard. It's actually in between the guard and the actual, uh, excuse me, the cross guard and the handle. So it's not gonna come off. It's not like glued on as two separate pieces. It's one single piece that they slide on. Got a little bit of a diamond cross section. We've got a nice fuller running through this as well from really about three handprints, which is about, I would say about like 11 or 12 inches from the guard where that fuller is running. Diamond cross section and a nice pointy tip on that one. Handle as well, we have that circular disc pommel. There's that almost green, almost green handle. It's pretty much black, but there's a little bit of a green tint to it. And the peen mark on the pommel as well. There's the rain guard, a little bit less sun. These are the notches I'm talking about, where you can run a uh, sword accessory, like a sword frog, sword hanger. And shiny steel tip on the end. We flip it over, take a look at the stitching. Again, from bottom to top. You can see it's very nicely stitched all the way to the bottom until the end of the steel tip. All right, we did some up close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard with the Bilar Arms long sword with the leather chap. And now we'll do some cut testing with it. We're gonna pan to the cut testing. I did it previously to the video just to make sure I have a little bit more to talk about with it so I can give you an idea of how it feels with slashing. So let's pan to that. All right, so there you have it, the Bilar Arms Long Sword. This one did really well on the cutting. The second mat that I'm using on this one that I set up, the second tatami mat, was actually dry. I left it out in the sun on purpose, just to see how the edge quality does and the sharpening quality does. Um, just so you can see that in demonstration, I experimented with a couple more cuts and also thrusted it, as you saw in the video. So it did really well. Again, these come unsharpened, so if you're looking to add a sharpening service to any of your blades that we have available at Cult of Athena, You'll see a little check mark at coldathian.com on the blade page that you want to purchase and you want to check that. Give us a couple more business days to get that done. Usually around the holiday season we can get pretty backed up, so just be patient. Mark does a great job on all the edges and wants to make sure the quality is of highest um, so that they are functionally sharp and getting to you safely. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know if you need anything and you want to see anything on the channel, maybe long swords, maybe other Bilar products. We are releasing a couple more Bilar ones, a dagger, uh, Italian longsword as well. And that's it. See you in the next video.